Good evening. Welcome to uh, True School Sports. We're here with one of my favorite referees here in, uh, in the 305 or 954. He's, uh, uh, I say, well known um, referee. What is your name again? Sam Bergen. Sam Bergen. He's, he's actually refereed a lot, a lot of fighters here um, in South Florida. He's gone to the big fights and he's done everything. Um, from your experience, how has uh, refereeing has changed or how has improved since you started doing refereeing? Actually, you know, it, it's, it's been a it, it's been a great thing. You know, we are the safety of the fight is always the primary things. You know, and I think with advances in medicine and we go to seminars on a yearly basis, so we try to look at always our job over the safety of the fighters. You know, that's our main concern. My 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 saying and a lot of referees saying we better stop a fight a thousand fights early that one too late. So that's what we go by. And, and, and let me ask you another question. You're right. Safety is the most important thing with boxing. And, and, and we can't forget that they're trying to find different procedures to make it better. Um, when you go home at night, when you go home at night, um, regardless of the fighters, I know you're there for their safety. Do you feel any guilt or any uh, remorse for the decision if you have to stop a fight? Uh, do you let the fans affect you or how? No, no, actually, that, and that's a great thing about it. You know, that's I, I, that's the thing. You know, I would feel the guilt if, if the next day, you know, I feel like I stopped the fight and uh, or, or a guy ended up at the hospital because I didn't do my job because I didn't stop it in time. Right. That would make me feel guilty. Up until Tuesday, that hasn't happened. You know, and I'm able to look go home. You know, and everybody's able to go home. The fighters able to go home to their family. Right. And uh, you know, that, and that's the, the primary thing. You know, like I say again. To the fighter. I, I can live with all my decisions. I'm okay with that. And um, how long you been doing refereeing for my ass? 15 years. 15 years. Absolutely. So you've gone from amateurs all the way up? Yeah, from amateurs all the way to world titles. So it's been great. And if you had any um, message to the boxing world, how to look upon the referees, not to be so judgmental, not to be <laughs> hating on this type of big fight, what would you say to the boxing world so they understand yeah. or get an even you know, kill? First of all, you know, like I said, I appreciate all the boxing fans out there. We really, really, really do. But again, our job is to save the fighters. And I know sometimes they think, you know, they, they think that, you know, you got to go, let them go out on their shield. And, you know, but it, it, that's not the thing. You know, we got to make sure that once the fight becomes one sided, it's our job to stop that fight. And, yeah. and we'll do so. You know, and that's the right thing to do. And, and, and true boxing fans understand that. And, and I, I'll be honest with you, I've watched this for, for a short time. The short time that I've seen you, I'm not going to mention other names throughout the boxing world, but I do respect the way you referee because I see you automatically when a box is hurt, when a box is hit, you automatically stop the fight and try to find out what's, what's important. Not just what the fans want, but what's important for boxing and the sports stuff. And you care for yourself in a professional matter. matter. So to conclude, I just want to say one more time, is can you leave, uh, if you have any message you want to get to the boxing, what would it be? Well, again, thank you for supporting the sport and, uh, and let's keep it going, you know, many more years. Thank you Best so much. Take care. Okay.